Hey guys, how you going? Welcome to another maths uh, practice question. Uh, today we're going to work on a 3D trigonometry problem. So you will need to have done the cosine rule as well as all of the other trigonometry tutorials uh, in order to attempt this problem because it is pretty hard. Um, you also need to be pretty good at rearranging equations uh, in algebra. So let's draw a picture of this question. So we have John, let's draw a man. He sees a tower due north. So north of John, so straight up from where John is, north. This is the north. We see a tower, and uh, not very good at drawing towers, but let's just say that's a tower. And uh, he looks at the top of the tower at an angle of elevation of 20 degrees. So rather than drawing it here, I'm gonna draw a separate triangle that is the side view. So this is the top, this is the bird's eye view. Bird's eye view. And this is the side view where we have the tower and we have John. And uh, this is John. Okay, and the angle of elevation here, so from where John is to the top of the tower, uh, this angle here is uh, 20 degrees. So, John then, and obviously this is a right angle. John then walks to, uh, John then walks 70 meters to another point at ground level. So he then walks 70 meters to another point. So uh, we don't know where it is, but let's just say 70 meters down this way. So this is 70 meters. He so this is John's new location which I'm gonna say J2 so J2 is John's second location and he notices the tower is now positioned at a bearing of 330 degrees from him so let's say this is north of where John is in the second position 330 degrees bearing means clockwise uh, an angle of 330 degrees so we'll go all the way over here and then his the direction from J2 to the tower so this angle here is 30 degrees because the whole revolution is 360 degrees minus the angle of, of 330 means the angle from north to where this direction is is only 30 degrees now using the uh, alternate angles are equal rule since this line here is north and this line here is north these two lines are parallel these two lines are parallel so a transversal across the parallel lines means that the alternate angles would equal so this angle here will be 30 degrees as well so we end up with a triangle where we know one of the sides is 70 meters and one of the angles is 30 degrees which is opposite 
the side that is 70 meters. Now we also know that the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is now 25 degrees. So from where John's new location is to the top of the tower, so um, I'm going to draw a side view, side view from at J2. So I have John and the tower. And the angle of elevation to the top of the tower at J2 is now uh, 25 degrees. And there's a right angle here. So basically, let's say, the, let's uh, make up some variables. Let's say the height of the tower equals T. So I have the length, the vertical side of this triangle, I'm going to call T and T. And the uh, distance from J to the tower, I'm going to call X. And the distance from J2 to the tower, I'm going to call Y. So, using the bird's eye view, the distance from John's first location to the tower, I'm going to call X. And the distance from John's second location to the tower, I'm going to call Y. So, what's happening is, firstly, let's define what the height of the tower is using John's first location. So we have the sine, uh, the tangent ratio is opposite over adjacent. So here's theta, so that means this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. So tangent 20 equals T over X now, if we make x the subject, x is then equal to t over tan 20. And now I'm going to find out, uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to use the tangent ratio here on John's second position and uh, rewrite it so that uh, John's distance to the tower is the subject, which is y equals t over 10, 25. So, I now have x and y both expressed as an expression where, uh, with respect to t, So, what I'm going to do now is uh, use the cosine rule, uh, which will help me put everything together in one equation. So, the cosine rule is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So if we make this angle A, and if I make this side, uh, if I make this angle A, and I make this side little a, and these two sides can be B and C, so then I can write this equation as 70 squared equals uh, x squared plus y squared minus 2xy cos 30. Now notice how x 
is t over 1020 so I'm gonna substitute that in t over 1020 squared plus y is t over 25 t over 1025 squared minus 2 times x which is t over 10 uh, 20 times y which is t over 10 25 times cos 30 okay so keep working on that I will have 70 squared equals uh, t squared over 10 20 squared plus t squared over 10 25 squared minus 2 t squared cos 30 over 10 20 times 10 25 using the fraction multiplication rules where top times the top end up on the top and the bottom times the bottom end up on the bottom okay now let's combine these fractions so you can see that <clears throat> all of the numbers here are pretty much they, they pretty much all have t squared as the variable so we can simply combine them by adding the coefficient of t squared so to make it clear for you I'm gonna write it in this form so I have 1 over 10 20 squared t squared plus 1 over 10 25 squared t squared minus 2 cos 30 over 10 20 10 25 t squared so basically I just need to get these numbers here this number plus that number and minus that number and then I can simplify this whole side to one thing in front of the t squared so let's type all that all that stuff into the calculator so make sure your calculator is on degrees mode and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in bracket 1 over 10 20 uh, squared uh, plus uh, 1 over 1025 squared uh, and then minus minus uh, 2 cos 30 over uh, 10 20 times 10 25 so I know there's a lot of brackets um, but basically we're just adding these three terms together so press enter equals and I have 1.94 so let's write that down here 1.94 and then what I'm gonna do is uh, move the 1.94 to the left so 70 squared over 1.94 equals t squared so t is equal to the square root plus or minus the square root of 70 squared 
over 1.94. So putting that in the calculator, t equals the square root, let me clear that, the square root of 70 squared over uh, 1.94 is 50.25 so t equals 50.25 meters which is the height of the tower so this is a pretty complicated problem I hope you guys uh, enjoyed working through that and uh, see you again next time